Hey everyone, in this video we are going to check out a new freebie. It has the memorable name Time One. It looks like this. A plugin made by... Well, the interface doesn't say who made this plugin. But let's just click on About and we see it is made by Tiller. And we can go to the GitHub page in order to inform ourselves about the existence of time one in case we didn't know yet that time one exists or in case we want to read the description which says that this is a source delay modulator similar to growth speed and time shaper and yeah i have made a source delay modulator as well if you can call it like that it's called nell but it works very differently in terms of workflow instead of letting you draw a shape like here, you can use various modulators to modulate the delay and because of that create a vibrato. And I made sure that my plugin is a lot about continuous curves, just like you would expect in a vibrato. But this thing is not about continuous curves, but about steppy ones, as you can see. And yeah, if you have not lived under a rock for the last um, decades, you know that FL Studio also has a plugin like that called Grow Speed. The special thing about this plugin is that you can now have such a workflow for free. So let's find out what it means on this drum loop. By the way, every time you stop playback, there is this noise. I guess it is a bug. You always have to bypass the plugin when you stop playback, which is a little bit annoying, but I will inform the developer about it. And if the developer is cool, then it will be resolved soon. Now, the first thing I want to talk about is that you can hold CTRL in this plugin in order to make this curve snap to the grid. And you can use that together with mouse wheel which is used to oh wait that only works when the plugin is not bypassed apparently ah. a bit of an inconsistent behavior because you can change points while it's bypassed but you cannot change the grid okay then i have to activate it but i will turn down the sound okay so mouse wheel is changing the grid now and that matters because you can do something like grid form and then it's very easy to just double click and ctrl drag points to these equally spaced steps. It sounds like this. Now another thing that you have probably just noticed was that when I started playback it was not tempo sync or pro more like project sync. It was tempo sync but not project sync until I changed this drop down menu to some other value and back to the value where it should be. And the weird noise comes from my cat who is playing down there on the floor by the way. Okay, but now let's focus on the sound of time one because that's what we are here for, right? So what does this modulation do with the sound? Yeah, so this is basically a shape that you would use in order to get a beat repeat. We could try adding another, let's say, layer to that to make it even faster, which could be interesting on the 16th notes.
so yeah you can get very wild with this and just come up with shapes that make absolutely no sense but that still feel kind of satisfying i'm going to do that much more and export a lot of drum loops because i think that it's a great workflow to just get creative with some weird shapes that look kind of symmetric or something and then export that when it sounds cool you don't really have to understand what you are doing to get something cool out of it but that's not even all that you can do with this plugin you can not only make steppy shapes you can also also make linear shapes which is also pretty cool I, I gotta say I'm not quite sure what the difference between the paint menu and the point menu is but let's just use the point menu to select curve and it will create a point and for some reason it will draw a line from the end point to here even though I just expected it to start from the start point maybe when I do this no yeah so I don't know sometimes the workflow is still confusing me even though it is very well thought out but let's just do this and see what it does for us or maybe even yeah let's just make a saw wave Now I could just bounce it, which I'm also doing, because I think the real fun is not just, you know, changing drums completely and then calling it a day because it's kind of crazy and woohoo, even though it is definitely very flashy and it has me fascinated non-stop. But more realistically, for a composition, you want to mix it with the things that you just keep the way they are. Now we have all these sounds and we can take some out of them if we want to. a little bit too straightforward right now but meow 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 it's a little bit too straightforward right now i think but you know you get the idea you can get a lot of nice little clicky noises out of there scratchy noises often also bouncy noises that make woo and and stuff like that and you know if I reduce this even more it's all about reducing the things until you get to the essence of what you want to keep and I will go on with it until only the best parts are still in it and everything else is gone you know you can do that with all kinds of material not just with drums that's pretty cool I like that that's something that I always wanted to have but I didn't want to get FL Studio for it and now I have it. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> 